don't feel like this is an undercover cop because he slowed down a shit ton when I got behind him kind of making me think he wants me to overtake and speed so he can catch me speeding Fucking indicate then, you fuck boy. I don't understand. I filtered past him. No, uh -uh. it was green light. Unless he knew who I was, because I was miles away from him. I wasn't even close. Oh, that looks awesome. That, that's that's the job you want. Working on the farm like that, big open in the sun with your dogs. Yeah, boy. That's why I'd love to work in Australia. Have weather like this and working out there like as horrible it is like you're fucking sweating you're working hard but it's better than being inside what's up guys so today we're talking about you read the title you know what we're on about why i bought the ducati hyper motard over any other bike now the first reason and this is this this creeps me out a little bit is probably about a year ago this time last year i had a dream of me riding this bike like exactly the way i am right now and i thought nothing of it i just thought oh yeah that's cool i am riding a hyper motard in a dream it didn't click in my head until i was actually thinking about buying one i was like actually this dream could come true now i kind of helped it come true but it it, it came true you know what i mean straight away I thought oh, it's fate I need to get one now and I just want to say it is a beautiful day like 20 degrees sunny hottest day of the year so far and it's only fucking April absolutely lovely so obviously we're headed to Cheddar and I thought I don't really when I'm at Cheddar I don't really vlog normally so I thought I would so I'm gonna take it easy and just talk because uh, it did rain last night so there could be quite a bit of gravel on the road so I'm gonna take it easy because I'm not much a fan of the tires I've got on at the moment but anyway back to the video so why I chose this over every other bike I was on about an MT-07, 790 Duke, 690 Duke, everything why I chose this now if you haven't seen the video I did prior to this go check it out I talk about how you can actually get this bike on an A2 license because you can because I am still on my A2 license so I haven't upgraded this is not an upgraded bike don't go in the middle of the road, dickhead. I was looking, so the, the other bikes I could have got, the Street Triple on an A2 license, a 790 Duke on an A2 license, an M2 A07 on an A2 license, which means it's all restricted. Why I didn't get the Street Triple? Because getting a Street Triple for an A2 license takes about three months to actually get it, um, which I talked about, and you're paying a hell of a lot more for a bike because it's brand new. This is second hand, this is 2012. You're paying a lot more. You're paying near enough eight grand, between seven and eight grand for a, a street triple. Paying over eight grand for a 792. So, for one of those, I was looking at buying it on finance. I, I can't, I can't afford something like that. And I didn't really want to buy a bike on finance. I never have. I bought my R3 out straight away. Um, my outright. I bought the Duke 125 outright. I picked this bike up, and this always shocks everybody that I tell. Five grand. Five grand, I got a 2012 Ducati Hyper Motard 796. Five grand for this bike, it's beautiful. And I did my research before buying a, this bike. As you know, I always do my research to buy bikes. And I searched this thing up, and the reliability on this model exactly, <laughs> my bars are so wide scares me uh, the reliability on this model is actually really good people say oh they're gonna break down because <laughs> obviously snowcat had his problems but he had a different model hyper motor I believe these are actually very reliable and they go for miles and this thing will be going for miles mate fuck you no 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 why is he telling me to slow down Why is he telling me to slow down? I'm doing the fucking speed limit. Why were you saying slow down? They've closed the gorge down there and there's loads of police. Oh, uh, is that what it is? I thought you were telling me to slow down. I was like, ah, uh, I got you. Uh, I was like, I thought it was the other cyclist. No, I know. There's like, there's the, there's like 
two fire engines. Oh really? Is someone crashed then or something? I, I think someone's fallen. They're landing a helicopter. Really? The whole road. Oh shit! Yeah. All right, I was about to have a go at you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. All right, I oh, thank you then. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I get you now. All right, thank you for that. No, I know. Now I know. All right, well, cheers for that. <laughs> ah, perfect. Thank you very much. When you turn around, I thought he's going to think I'm being I thought you were. Yeah. Oh, you're a star. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like a dick now, because um, she was actually <laughs> she was actually being very nice. Like it's probably I, I don't know. <laughs> so, for what I oh I feel like a dick. She wasn't actually telling me off. <laughs> she was actually telling me there's a load of cops down here. Shit, well, I feel like a dick. This is a badass thing. Anyway, yeah, so, um, all right, I want to go see what this is first and then I'll carry on with the vlog. I'm gonna let these guys know. You need to, I should have told her, you need to tap your helmet, that means cops. But someone's fallen, man. Try to let this, the cat, you know. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah, shit. So, yeah, um, what I was saying about the, the hypermotor, I got this for five grand, so it's a lot cheaper. Um, and I think it's beautiful. I absolutely love it. I love the power. I love the, the specs on it. Everything. So, that's really why I went for it, is the price and what you're getting for that price. Um, and, like, I read up and they're reliable. You, you just you look after them and they look after you like it's as simple as that I'm, I'm very distracted now because I want to know what's going on down here all right let's see what's going on apparently this is all closed apparently helicopters coming and shit YouTube you can you can bite into me there because I feel like a dick I, I wanted to ask why like but I did I, I thought it was like I was curious but I was angry curious which you shouldn't do mate it's all closed off apparently. Oh. Apparently someone's fallen over and it's all closed off. Oh, That's why I was tapping my helmet. Apparently there's loads of cops down there. Oh. 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 Yeah, see, it's a shit ton of ambulances. Shit, this vlog got interrupted quick. Do you know what's happened? No. Oh, no. There was an accident, but we don't know what. You don't know. That's through evenness walking by. So yeah. I don't know. I heard, like, I had a cyclist pull me over and say that someone's fallen over or something. Oh. But I don't know if, it, like, if they've just fallen over or they've fallen down. down. Yeah. I think it could be a bit worse than that because she didn't she want to let us go in case we got traumatised. So. Re oh, God. So I don't think it's somebody's. Oh, shit. Yeah. See what she says. <laughs> yeah, uh, is it worth just turning around and yeah? Yeah, go for it, turn around. Yeah. Are you trying to get into Cheddar? Yeah, I was just driving through. Draycott Way? Do you yeah, know? I know which yeah, way to go. That way, that'd be the quickest way. Is it going to be closed pretty much all day then? I don't know how long it'd be closed. Yeah, so it's it fine. For a while, so I would, if you can, turn around. Is it not good? And go round. I don't know the full circumstances you don't know. yet. Someone said someone had fallen over, but yeah. you, with this place, you just think the worst, don't you? Yeah, you do definitely. Oh. I would. Do you know where? Okay. Yeah. Cheers. <sighs> not good, man. I think someone's gone. I think someone's dead. Shit, shit, shit. 
Well, I feel like an ass. It's better to tell people to slow down, turn around. Yeah, fucking hell, this vlog got weird. <laughs> was about to have an argument with a cyclist who was actually helping me, and then um, I think someone's passed away. We'll find out in the news. I'm sh I'll, sure I'll put it up on screen if I, if I know something. Right, gonna head to Breen now. Fuck, dude. Nice bike. Well, I hope it's not serious, but that amount of ambulances and police and the road closed and the people saying they might get traumatised, I think it's pretty bad. Anyway, let's try and talk about this Ducati. Um, why I chose it over, say, the 690 Duke? Um, because 690 Duke is still overpriced, I think. Um, what, like, for a 690 Duke, you're between four and five and I think this is better looking and you're getting more bike for that amount of money like at the end of the year when I get my full license I'll be able to demonstrate this thing and smash it you know so not actually smash it but smash it you know what I mean so like uh, the, the main reasons I thought this was gonna be a long vlog and it is now but the main reasons is you're getting a lot of bite for the money. It's as simple as that. I think it's beautiful. I think it's stunning. I've always had a love for it. It's a fucking Ducati. Yeah, what else can I say? Fuck, man. One thing's for sure is... Yeah, Sweden. These tyres are terrible. See, it's better to tell people to turn around than slow down. Slow down is just like... Yeah. <laughs> 